Welcome back, this is Jason Seacrest. We are going to complete our mummy tutorial. What we are looking to do is we, at the end of the last tutorial, we had completed our brushes. We had already gone through and used the eraser tool. We already got rid of all of the overlapping. We united all of our colors. Some of you can tell I already going to skip ahead and filled in the black with our live paint, which we are going to do right now. Now, in your resources, you will find a mummy color palette. I'm going to use mostly the grays and the blacks for any of the shrouds and the wrapping. I'm going to basically use some zombie-esque colors for the face. So we can just drag those over and create a little swatch. Uh, next, we are going to select everything. We are going to come down to Live Paint Make. Live Paint Bucket is K. And then all we are looking to do is fill in our blacks if you have not done so already. Next, we are looking to basically fill everything. So we want to come over with some sort of base color. If you already know where your light source is going to come from, wonderful. If you're just going to follow along to ours, I usually just do all of the flats first just to make sure that everything has a color. Keep in mind, after we do this, we can always change it. If I skip one or if I miss an area, then especially if we are trying to add a gradient and or if we are trying to add a shadow to that, it didn't create a shape. So that is one of the reasons I personally like using the live paint bucket because it already creates shapes for us. And then we can just basically plow through and get all of the base colors down. Now when we are looking at our palette, I do have quite a few from lights to dark. Since we are going to be doing quite a bit with just cast shadows and drop shadows and things like that, especially with the knife tool as well as the divide pathfinder. I do want to have a full range of values. So all we're doing is filling all of the colors. We are done. Background is just a circle with a gradient. It is not transparent. So if you guys are liking this channel, if you guys are liking the tutorials, definitely subscribe, definitely share away. Uh, we are doing a lot with uh, cartoon tutorials. We're going to be adding some new playlists this school year, so keep your eye out for those. But uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, definitely put those into the comment section. I do read those as fast as I can, and I get back to you since I know you guys are probably working on the tutorial. But other than that, thanks for hanging out, and I will see you guys on the next tutorial.